Hey y'all, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. It's me, Misty Beauty. <clears throat> my voice is always shot. Sorry. Oops. I hope all you guys are doing well. I hope all of my cancers are doing well. Okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancer? <clears throat> what messages do you have for cancer? energy for the person that my viewers are inquiring about <clears throat> y'all it's so weird like in the daytime my voice is fine but as soon as I hit my throat shock will be fucked up I swear crazy I usually don't sound like a toad <clears throat> okay so one more time and my ring is about to fall off my finger okay What's the current energy for cancer with the person that they're dealing with? What is the current energy for cancer? Thank you. Mm. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone who you think is the one. It could have been like a love at first sight type of thing. Or you there was just very deep emotions in the very beginning with this person. Oops. What else? What else? Thank you. <clears throat> so the reconciliation card is here which is letting me know that um the person that you're dealing with is not in your life at this very moment um if there's any communication the communication is definitely on and off like it's not this is not consistent communication somebody is definitely trying to also control um when this person is going to come back in their life how is it going to happen somebody's probably over texting over calling over thinking right this person is going to be headed back into your life, but only in divine timing. Yeah, spirit wants you to keep an open mind about the situation. Try not to overthink it. <clears throat> and like, don't try to control how it's going to happen. This could be someone you're dealing with that's married, or this could be your significant other, or this is just someone who either you view as marriage material, or this person views this in you. Because I have the marriage card clarifying this could be the one. <clears throat> Somebody thinks that you are the one that they want to settle down with or vice versa. <clears throat> I have free yourself next to the wedding card. Um, kind of feeling like if the person you're dealing with is in a connection with someone else, this is something that they need to wrap up. You possibly could be trying to control how quickly this happened or you, you feel like this situation isn't happening as fast as you uh, would like somebody's trying to stay optimistic about someone's return as well this person is going to be making an appearance back into your life um very soon like i said they just want you to keep an open mind if this person was not making an effort in the past they're definitely going to be coming back make doing this they're going to come back and make an effort but i hear some of you guys don't know if it's if it's genuine like i feel like you know somebody's feeling like i don't know if it's genuine this person has you know, been an ass to me for so long or this person has treated me, you know, less than their equal for so long. I don't know if it's genuine. This is how someone is feeling. Like, you don't even really know if you want to let your guards back down with this person again, especially if they've been come um, in and out of your life, right? Some of you guys aren't really ready for commitment, though. I don't know if it's because of something that happened with a past relationship or you just focus on your money or something like that. If somebody isn't really ready um, for commitment. Somebody looking to have fun, you know, meeting new people and stuff like that. But some of you guys just not really focusing on um, love right now. Yeah. This is the Queen of Cups in reverse. Soon as, as soon as I said someone isn't really focusing on love, the Queen of the Queen of Cups come out in reverse. Um, so this is like lack of emotion, or whoever you're dealing with could definitely have a problem with displaying 
their emotions, just, you know, being upfront and genuine about who they are. Somebody feels as though, I'll put them back the way they was. Somebody feels as though this situation, like, somebody's tired of waiting. Someone feels as though they're not going to have a happy outcome. And because of this, they're they're no longer expressing um, emotions. Or this, you could be feeling like this because of whoever you're dealing with, lack of um, expression towards you. Even though you still feel in your heart that, that this person could definitely be the one, right? This person could have also been offering you, um, it's like when they come, they would offer you just enough. Somebody's only receiving you just enough. When this person comes back, though, I'm seeing them coming with the page energy, meaning don't expect a very big offer from this person. I mean, I feel like they're going to do a little bit more to keep you around. Yeah, and the King of Cups in reverse. So they're not going to be as open as you would like. This, there's still going to be some type of um, some type of instability. Something isn't. I think because whoever this person is coming in. They were very unemotional in the past. Very unemotional. Um, they hid their emotions from you. And in return, even though you think this person is the one, you're still in return. You're like, okay, I'm going to do it too. Well, if you're going to ignore me, I'm going to ignore you too. If you're not going to be communicative towards me, I'm not going to communicate with you. You know, like, you're pulling your energy back from this person. Um, they possibly had some type of options in the past or somebody was a workaholic or they claimed that they worked a lot and that's what kept them from you. You guys possibly stayed in some type of conflict about this because you just never really knew where you stood with this person. Somebody never really knew where they, where they stood. And it's like you're not, you're not even really sure if you want to take a leap of faith with this person. You don't know if you want to be the fool and have a fresh start with this person. Even though you feel like this person could definitely be the one. But if there's going to continue to be a lack of give and take, then why? Whoever you're dealing with, though they're coming back, this person is still not showing the type of emotion that you deserve. They're still having options or... If it isn't people that's keeping them from you, this person's, um, they're just not that focused. And in return, it's got you in the same energy, right? I feel like you want a victory with this person, though. You sense, you feel like there is some type of victory in this person. You feel like you guys could be like a power couple or something. Yeah. Your person is stuck at a crossroad. And you know what? I'm not even going to lie and say that this person don't love you because the King of Cups wouldn't even be here on the table if there wasn't any type of emotion. This person is just so lost and caught up in, you know, people, places, and things. Like, yeah. You've either thought about ending this situation or your person needs to bring something to an end so they can move towards you. Thank you. In the meantime, and in the between time, you're working on your money. You're working on your pinnacles. This is what you're focusing on. This is you thinking about opening up that business that you've been procrastinating about. This is you baby stepping, ordering a few things here and there, getting things set up. It's like when this person pulled their energy back from you, it forced you to, one, view who was loyal in your life and who wasn't, and two, focus on your, focus on your finances, right? Focus on you. Somebody could be dealing with some, some type of fire sign as well. Someone could be dealing with a Scorpio. A Leo in particular. Someone could be dealing with. It, it really doesn't even matter what signs is here out on the table. Whoever you're dealing with, they just come off as real charismatic. If they're very handsome, they know they're very handsome, right? And I feel like they use their emotions to, like, they use this to be emotionally manipulative. What else? Thank you. 
but this is you receiving what it is that you want whether it's this person or not this is you receiving your, your dreams your goals that new job you finish in school just manifesting all the prosperity and abundance into your life that you definitely deserve yeah I'm just feeling like right now, whoever you're dealing with is still flighty. This person comes and goes out of your life as they please. I don't even really think like communication isn't the best with this person. And, and you know, the Six of Cups is here. This is someone from your past returning. So the reconciliation card is here. And this is someone from your past. But my only problem with this is, are they going to be consistent? Are they going to show you the emotion that you deserve? That's my problem. The love isn't the problem. I can see that they love you. I can feel that they love you. That's not the problem. That's not the issue, right? The issue is, are they going to grow up? Are they going to be consistent? But in the meantime, you need to get on the ball and actually, you know, focus some of this energy on yourself and become the queen of pinnacles. Me a okay <laughs> thank you it's all good this is saying that whatever is going on right now it is all good everything is playing out just the way that it is supposed to play out and some of you guys possibly have said this if this person is not acting right you possibly said oh it's all good because guess what you finna you finna focus on yourself anyway so it is all good this person don't know what they're missing it's it's their loss it's their loss like, you don't have time to sit up and wait on somebody to make up their damn mind. Healing energy. Some of you guys possess a healing energy. Some of you guys could definitely be healers. Some of you guys could be tarot card readers. Some of you guys just have a natural healing energy about yourself and letting go. So, you know what? This is telling me that once you make a decision to... I'm not telling you to just completely let go of this person because ultimately it's still your decision what it is that you want to do. But this is saying it's all good to letting go and healing energy. So for who somebody out there, letting go is the best option. Because once you let go, the healing process can begin for you. And teaching. Some of you guys could be school teachers or going to school to be a teacher or this connection that you're dealing with has taught you so much. You have learned so much. All of the tears that you have cried have just watered you. That's it. This ain't stopping nothing. You're destined for greatness. You're destined to be the, be the higher version of yourself. All this was about teaching. You learn a major lesson dealing with this person. And once you let go, you'll be able to actually start healing, grounding. Some of you guys need to take some time out, go back in nature, do some things for yourself, actually ground yourself because you deserve that. Okay, so I'm going to use my big cards. These cards are huge. <clears throat> my hands aren't that big. Yeah. But the show must go on. Maybe I'm shuffling them wrong. Every day I'm shuffling, shuffling. Okay. So, Spirit, give me a closing message for cancer. This person from their past is coming back. Because they coming back. You're going to receive some communication with them probably in the next three months or so. This person is coming back, if not sooner. But the thing is, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to allow them to continue to be inconsistent in your life, only break from you and not show you that much love, and in return, you turning your love off, even though you feel in your heart that this person can be the one and they feel the same way, but somebody definitely got a lot of growing to do, right? And even if they do come back and make the effort, because make the effort is here, the thing is, why are they making the effort now when it's possible that they didn't make the effort back then? Like, it, it kind of got you questioning them, but you never know. Everyone's story is different, right? Ooh, I'm going to have to shuffle this way. Yeah. 
intention. So this is saying that whatever it is that you do, make sure you do this with intention. Put put intention behind everything. If you're trying to manifest something big in your life, do that shit with intention. The one, the one is passion as well. So follow your dreams, follow your passions and do it with intention. And that's how you manifest. That is how you manifest things into your life. Okay. I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being patient with me. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Also, if you haven't, um, if you would like a personal reading, if this resonated with you and you want to know more, if this is your story, go ahead, hit me up, book me. I do have a few slots available, um, but they are going fast. So thank you and peace.